Yo, what up? Welcome back to the Flutter authentication tutorial. We've made some good progress in the last couple of videos where we can now log in and also register a new account. Now it's time for us to implement the Google sign in. So just to keep everyone on the same page, in the last couple of videos, we made it so that we can now log in users and also register a new user. So now we need to do the Google sign in. Now for this one, we need to look at this package, which I'll definitely link below. So the Google sign in. Now just copy this and let's come back to our code. Go to your pop spec YAML and let's add this package in. So save it and let's close the file once that's done. Now just going back to the Google sign in package, there's a lot of instructions here for the integration between Android and iOS, but some of this is a little bit outdated, so I'll show you what you need to do. Now, the very first thing we have to do is to register our Firebase app, which we actually already have done in the last tutorial. So if you go to your console, we can now go to the authentication. And if you go to the sign in method, we enabled the email. So now let's add a new provider and enable the Google. And for the public facing project name, you can just call it whatever you want. I'll call it Flutter Google Auth Tutorial or just shoot. And just select a project support email, so just your own email. And it says here to set up Google sign in for Android apps, you need to add this SHA1 fingerprint. So I'll show you how to do this a bit later on. Now just coming back to the Google sign in package, if you read these instructions for the integration, just starting with the iOS one, um, like I said, a lot of this like steps two to six is already done for us. We already did that. And we just need to do this step seven. So copy this, and then you can see where we need to paste it in the iOS runner and the info.plist file. So let's go to iOS runner, info plist and just add it here. And then if you look carefully, you can see here, it says copied from the Google service info.plist. So we have to give it the correct ID. So just go to this file that's just right above it and you can see, so get this little number here after the Google user content dot apps and just replace that one. Cool, so this is a very important step. So save it and let's close this. So coming back to our code, let's go to the library and let's create a new folder called services. And in this folder, let's create a new file called auth service. And let's put all the Google sign in in this file. So in this class auth service, the method, let's call it sign in with Google. And just to have a bit of an outline on what we're trying to implement here, the first thing is to begin the interactive sign process. So bringing up that uh, page to click your email. And then we have to obtain auth details from the request and then create a new credential for the user. And finally, we can use the credential to sign in. So I'll explain what each of these steps are requiring. So at the beginning, the sign in process, let's get the Google sign in account and let's just call it G user. And let's try to sign in. So this should open up a page that uh, allows you to select an email or you can input your own email. And then let's try to authenticate Google sign in authentication. I'm just going to call this G auth and let's wait for if the authentication request has been, has been all good. And then once that's done, let's create a credential. So if you look in this credential, we have to specify two things, the access token and the ID token. So let's give it that. And then finally, once we have the credential, we just need to use the Firebase method to just sign in. Cool, so in terms of the code, that's actually really it for signing in with Google. Now, if you come back to the login page, we want this button of the Google to be clickable, right? Now, if you scroll down, it's this square tile that we created earlier. Now we could just wrap this in a gesture detector right here, but since we have um, the Google as well as the Apple to do, 
Let's go to our square tile component and let's add the gesture detector here. So on the on tap, let's create an on tap method and require the constructor. So what we just did is we should have some red squiggles because we have to specify the on tap method. So if I tap on this Google square, then let's go to our auth service class that we just created. And the method is the sign in with Google. So we're going to need to remove this const tag now. And same thing for the Apple one. This one we'll do in the next video. So I'm just going to execute nothing. And I want the user to be able to um, see these Google and Apple sign in on both the login page and the register page. So let's just do it for the register page as well. to run this on my iPhone simulator and we should get some error. Yep, this thing. So it says the Cocoa Pods, it's out of date. So to update it, just run pod repo update. And then if you copy this and try to run it, again, we still have some issues. And so I did a bit of Google search to, to see how to sort this issue and I can link the stack overflow post below if you like but I can show you what to do if you just scroll down just do exactly what I do so it says yeah go to the iOS folder in your project and we're going to delete this pod file dot lock so in the iOS folder let's just delete this guy and then let's run this pod re repo remove trunk command and then from here, this one becomes sort of machine dependent. So for Intel chip users, you can just do that. But I'm actually using an M1 Mac. So I'm going to follow these instructions here. So I'm going to copy this. And then just put your password in. And then we can run this repo update. And as it says here, we should do this in the iOS folder. So let's change the directory to iOS. And in this folder, just run that command. And hopefully we see some, some green. Sick. So that's looking pretty good. And the rest of this, don't worry about. Now let's hit Flutter run finally. Let's just make sure everything is working smoothly. Cool, so I'm gonna hit Google and sweet, we get this little window and it opens it up and there's my email. I'm just gonna click it and we're signed in. So that's how easy it is to implement Google sign in. Cool, so it's working on iPhone. So we just need to do one little thing for Android, which is if you go to the project settings and you scroll down for the Android app, you can see this SHA certificate fingerprints. So if you Click on this question mark, you can see this page and we just have to do a little something. So for the debug certificate, so I'm on Mac, I'm going to use this one. So make sure if you're on Windows, do the Windows. But just copy this and put it in your terminal. And it wants a key store password. So if you go back, the default password is just Android, all lowercase. So just type in Android. And then you can see the certificate fingerprints. So the SHA-1 and the SHA-256. So let's copy this and let's go back to the console and let's add the fingerprint. Do the same thing for the SHA-256. Cool, and that should be done. So it should work on Android as well. Cool, and that's essentially it. So for the authentication, we can now sign in using Google. And in the next video, let's try to focus on the Apple sign-in. And that should be all of the authentication for us to do. So I'll make sure to link the code below so you guys can take a closer look at it, play around with it, and let me know if you have any issues. I'll come around and try to help you out. But other than that, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.